Hello everyone, it's me Phantom YT and in today's video I'll be telling you how you can make this amazing thumbnails with renders and with tags in UEFN. There is no need of Blender and no need of Photoshop. So let's get this started. So we have officially put our server tag which is UEFN as you guys can see here. So to adopt this you have to go to user settings, make sure to go to my account, type on display name, press on edit. You need to go fully down there you will see server tag here you need to press on the arrow and press on UEFN which is the Phantom YT UEFN short tag. Once you are in your project press on this go to cinematic go to cinematic camera actor and place it as you guys can see this is my cinematic camera actor we'll move on to do the details now so make sure that you keep it as default film playback it's 16 ratio 9 which is 1920x10 what we are gonna change here is the focus length which is this one so as you guys can see it is on 35 I'm gonna make it 12 so as you guys can see we have a bigger focal length now what we are going to do is we are going to set the position of our camera to move it so what you are going to do is you are going to change this one so make sure it is untake if you take it it is going to be blue if you untake it it is going to be like that and then you are going to press on E or go press on this and try to move it to the whatever size you want that's usually that's like what I really want right now so for putting a character we are gonna use a character device you just have to use character device so as you guys can see this is the character device we have and once you press on this you guys will be able to see the location of your character as well So once after you are done putting your character device, how you are gonna look for character name? You just type character, and you guys will find all the character name that are in Fortnite. I'm gonna take this one. This is the third one, so I'm gonna type A B S. So it's this one. As you guys can see, it shows something like this here. If you want, you can make it the pose. You are gonna make it fight. Type ready to fight you guys can see this guy is always ready to fight now we are gonna make it close so that it shows like a half render yep something like that okay now it is looking perfect I just need to now move you bro so this thing is getting moved on this is okay this should be fine okay now we are gonna need a light so to get a light you're gonna press on the same thing go to light and you can get a point light which is this one let's bring it up and see how it looks like on our character to show it like this we're gonna go to light the intensity i will try to make it four okay, so the radius uh, don't really need to do any big changes to the radius because as long as it covers the text like thing your character it should not matter a lot this is looking fine so far. I will try to move it to till it close. I think so. 10 looks good. Yep. 10 is a good one. So as you guys can see, this is how it looks like in it. Now Oh, we are gonna need a item gun item tracer to show like guns in his hand so in fortnite go to content drawer go to fortnite folder type item placer so this is my item placer which i will try to place can be damaged should be off uh, it does not matter because we are making a render 
so now you're gonna type l5 launcher which is gonna be the l anvil launcher make sure it is in model and just change it to 90 for now and then just redo it okay you need to make it so that it is up like in here and so that it fits in his hands like something like that a little bit in that should be fine okay let's see how it looks like in this so as you guys can see it looks like something like this which is okay but we can move it a little bit to the other side so that we can see our tower okay and also try to make it small so that it is not looking good when it is small so we will have it like that now what we are going to do is we are going to need another character so just type character again as you guys can see this is the character so in the pose i'm going to make it run this to run either you have this or the other one it's literally on you whatever you guys want but for now i'm gonna use this one and the further position what i'm gonna do to like make it quick either you have two screens or if you don't have two screen you just go to layout and go to this shit so as you guys can see i will show you what i'm gonna do in one screen or one layout i will make sure that i go to cinematic uh, camera so that i can see the position and whenever i move something so that i can see them let's say here this is looking perfect so now what we're going to do is we're going to need an other one which is going to be up here to put more of glow on his heart face as well okay by the way make sure you scalability you keep it too high and make sure if you want you can play with the time of the day i would like to have a time in night but if you want daytime you can also have that as you guys can see we have a lot of time but the daytime the night time is the best one for me for now i will try to reduce the uh, the intensity of the light accordingly so this one is on 6 this one is on 10 i think so 10 is good on this one so here comes the details thing so now we are going to focus on things so let's see we are going to focus on our this skin because it is far away so to make it look better i will try to focus on her try to put it on her head and then in uh, current happy you're gonna make it four so that you can see the character correctly as you guys can see if I put 1.0 the background will be blurred if I put 30 22 it's gonna be fully visible so I prefer putting it four and now we will have somehow good view of it okay now after this what you are gonna do is you're gonna look that if it is looking perfect that's all the setting you need the focal length make it 12 current aperture you're gonna make it for make sure that a manual focus distance you're gonna put it on the skin that is behind so that it focus better because it is already focusing on this one if we put on this it's not gonna change a lot of it so you're gonna focus on this skin and then what we're gonna require is a blimp so i'm gonna type blimp and just search for the blimp which is gonna be the big big io blimp so now we put it in our map as you guys can see this is the blimp we will try to change its direction to be here like that and i will try to make it smaller and try to bring it behind we still need to make it smaller so
yep this is looking good now now that's how it looks like there's a background that we have our glow on both of the renders and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to this and then press on layout go to one panel now and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to perspective and then go to cinematic camera device so as you guys can see we have our render that has no gun yet but we are gonna put it soon this is the blimp that we just put this is our character with the anvil launcher in hands and this is our other character so now you are gonna go back to layout put two panels and then here you're gonna just uh, alt and drag it to put a new gun and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need a pistol so I'm gonna use the normal pistols that is like pistol L3 but you can use whatever guns you want and anything you guys would like and you guys can see it looks perfect so this uh, thingy is looking good now we are gonna put a ballistic shield so to put a ballistic shield just hold and drag this and put a shield in an item placer which is the sh ballistic shield 7 L4 now for the ballistic shield I'm gonna make it so that it goes just like that so the hands are not shown and it shows that she has it somehow in her hands as you guys can see we have our blimp we have the tower that is the tilted towers clock tower and our render and everything is ready now only if you want to add anything else you want you can do it you can move this one to be little bit here so it only shows like somehow of it you can also move this to be closer you can change whatever you want in the background it really does not matter now just press on the three thing and now go to layout go to one panel and in this you're gonna go to perspective go to cinematic camera actor so once you're here just uh, position yourself to whatever position you guys want now make sure that you are gonna go to edit go to editor preference and search here screen short so the high resolution screenshot if you don't have it bind it make sure to bind it to f9 i have it on f9 you can change it to whatever you want so before taking a screenshot you're gonna press g then you will be able to see the game view make sure your perspective is on cinematic camera if you want to get rid of the cinematic camera you just need to press on this thing and you will get rid of it this is your cinematic camera and in order to take a picture of it you're gonna press f9 and once you are in f9 it shows you a screenshot size multiplier which is basically the size it's gonna multiply by that but you have 1920x1080 so you don't need to change it so it says include buffer visualization targets you need to make it write HDR format visualization targets make it and force 1 to 8 bit buffers for rendering pipeline yes then you're gonna press on capture and wait a little bit it will show you right over here that your picture is done as you guys can see this is our picture that we just made so once you join my discord server that is phantom yt uefn shop after that you will see announcement where you i will be telling about me and about the new videos that i'll be posting all the gua and all that type of shit guys if you want anything done in uefn such as thumbnail or a trailer or anything that you want done such as a map or custom assets or custom wars do let us know in the server make sure to join my server the link of the server can be found in description as well as in comments so phantom it is signing out peace